Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Happy O'Clock Podcast. My name is Patty Sutton, also known as Happy. It's my grandmother name. And co-hosting with me tonight are my holy sisters. Um, one is Shelly Pierre, Shelly and Pierre, coming out to you all the way from Trinidad, Tobago Islands, or Tobago. I probably said that wrong the first time. Shelly Ann, could you correct me on how to say that? <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago. There's no bag yes. there. It's Bago. All right. Tobago, I know yes. it's lovely. If you'd like to say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone. Good night and welcome to our podcast tonight. I'm really, really looking forward tonight and just going to have a lovely time. Thank you so much. And also my holy sister, Loretta, um, her last name is Finley, and she is from South Alabama. <laughs> Which, how about that? Southern Alabama. That's probably the way I should put that. Southern oh, friend. Oh, I'm a Southern girl, too. I'm from South Georgia. <laughs> right. Yeah, go ahead. Greetings, everyone. Um, actually, that's L.A., Lower Alabama. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> That's what some people say. I did not um, know that. See, you're teaching me things, girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so good to be here tonight. And I hope that um, we can help anyone who would like some prayer. So blessings to you. Thank you, my holy sister. And speaking of that, of prayer, if you would... If you have any prayer concerns for yourself or anyone else, you can just list them in the comments, and we will be glad to pray for you tonight. Um, that's our heart's desire, to see people healed, to see people he um, healed and well and whole, made whole in Christ, and living the life you were created to live in abundance. And so, yes, please do that. Feel free to do that in the comments, and we will um, come to that tonight. Um, that one of the things that happened today, when I woke up this morning, the first thing I thought of was respect. Your, this is what I heard in my mind. It's like, respect yourself. And I thought, wow, that's, um, that's interesting. Respect yourself. Um, the topic for tonight is love God, but the subtitle is actually respect yourself because as one with Christ in you know in Christ we are um, a rep the manifestation of the Christ being and so we should respect ourselves respect who we are in Christ and I was thinking about how as children we're taught to look for what is you know like in school and all we we're taught to look at what is different when we compare pictures and things, and um, it seemed like we would be taught to look for what is wrong. Like if they had three or four pictures, um, one would be different and say, "What? Which one is wrong? Which one? Had, what? What is wrong with this picture? And what is missing?" And um, I don't know if that is why, but it's it's like I feel like I was um, by the time I was in middle school, I started looking at what was wrong with me. It's what, when I look in the mirror, I would see what was wrong with me. And um, I, I don't know if it's a thing of the world, but I know that many people do that, if not all people do that, and um, look for what is wrong. But um, from God's perspective, he tells us to look for what is right, look for what is good, what is true, right. Anything that's of a good report, we were to focus on that, to look for what is the good good and so um in all that coming together as the thought is we are created in the image of god so when we see ourselves in the mirror we can look at ourselves as this is how god thinks of himself he thought of himself when he created you and me and so what we are standing before this image standing before a mirror is actually a beautiful creation of god and he says it's very good and we were created to be a very good 
um, duplication or um, multiplication of Christ. And so I'm saying let's let's look at ourselves and respect ourselves as being one with Christ. And um, I know that a lot of sickness comes from um, anxiety and depression and, and things with the way we see things. And so my hope is that if we can think on respecting ourselves, that maybe we, um, it, we can help with our healing, that we can help with our healing in our mind, renew our mind to the way Christ sees, the way God sees, you know, the, what the word says, as opposed to what the world says, and, um, and be healed and be well. And so that's where this is kind of generating coming from. If we see ourselves as holy, as God is holy, and the only way we are holy is because we have been made new, a new creation in Christ. And um, looking at Jesus' prayer, his um, prayer in John 17, when he prayed for you and me, it starts at verse 20, and it says, now this is the Passion Translation, it says, and he's talking to his Father, the Heavenly Father, our Father God, um, he says, and I ask not only for these disciples, but also for all those who will come, who will one day believe in me through their message. I pray for them all to be joined together as one, even as you and I, Father, are joined together as one. I pray for them to become one with us so that the world will recognize that you sent me for the very glory you have given me, I have given them so that they will be joined together as one and experience the same unity that we enjoy. You live fully in me and now I live fully in them. That's us. So that they will experience perfect unity. It's such a beautiful prayer and it's, um, it's, speaking truth to us that we are one with him we are one and we are one with each other so then this brings me to when um the pharisees were trying to trick jesus and ask him which of the um, commandments of moses is the most important which is the most which one of of all of the commandments it's the most important. And Jesus, in his wisdom, his wisdom from the Holy Spirit, the breath of life, he says to love God with all that you are. Love him with your whole being. That's the, the first and utmost. But the another that is just the same is to love your neighbor as yourself. And the part that I know most people have heard this, but the part that seems to be missing sometimes is a part about love yourself. And so by loving yourself, you're actually loving God because you are created in his image. So it's very profound, the thought of it. But that is the mystery. <laughs> that is the mystery of the gospel. Christ in us, the hope of glory. So um, I encourage you to look at yourself in the mirror and think, I am created in the image of God. And he sees me as good. And um, see if that will help your perspective and your outlook and how you treat yourself even. I know once I realized this, it seems like I pay better attention to um, where I go, what I subject myself to, what I listen to, what I look at, and um, because not because I'm under some rules, you know, a bunch of laws or anything, but it's because I honor the holiness of God. I honor who He is, and He. Um, we're taught in. Um, let me let me look over here. In First Peter, one it says, um, 
chapter 1, verse 14. It says, As God's obedient children, never again shape your lives by the desires that you followed when you didn't know better. Instead, shape your lives to become like the Holy One who has called you. For the scripture says, You are to be holy because I am holy. You are a holy being. Isn't that wonderful to know that Christ in us, the hope of glory, we are holy. We are walking beings that can um, minister just like Christ did when he was on the earth. Just as Jesus did. I'm sorry, we are Christ on the earth. But just as Jesus did when he was on the earth, now we are here to represent him and to um, lay hands on the sick so that they will recover, to um, cast out demons and to raise the dead. I mean, we everything that he did, we can do because of the power of God in us. And so tonight, we would like to pray for you and you be made well. And I hope that um, the title of Love God is like when we love ourselves and love our neighbor, we are actually loving God. So that's where that comes from. <laughs> And respect yourself knowing that you are God's. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, do we have any um, prayer concerns that have come up yet? Yes, we have um, one. Um, someone is asking for complete healing from lightheadedness. All right, go ahead and pray for. Her. I don't know if it's a her or I, him, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I speak um, total healing to your to your um, head. I speak the um, lightheadedness to go now, for I will restore health to you. So be it. So be it. So be it. You know, if the um, sometimes people are lightheaded because they have um, maybe fluid on the ears or um, inner ear problems. So um, I'll speak to that too. Um, any um, ears line up and um, function properly. Um, inner ear function properly. So be it. You know, this reminds me. So be it. Yeah. This reminds me something else that um, that I need to say is that our body, as we are, um, have the DNA of God, you know, in our body, we are created with his DNA that um, not only respecting ourselves, but respecting every part of ourselves. And it's like, um, I went to a healing clinic one time and I was taught to appreciate, um, like, for example, someone with vision, you know, I wear glasses, but someone with vision I issues can, um, can appreciate that we have vision. It's like, um, I, and speak to our, our body parts, like, Eyes, um, I, I, I love you. Eyes, I love you. I'm mm. thankful for you. And, um, you know, feet, my feet, I, I love you, feet. You carry me from, you allow me to walk from wherever I need to go. I, I love you, feet, and I'm thankful for you. And to speak to ourselves this way. That's the respect. Yes, yes, it is. Definitely. So that's something um, that I encourage to. And that's also giving thanks to every every functioning part of your body. Yeah. 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 It's just like even say if someone has um, a problem with um, their stomach, we can still be thankful. You know, we can be thankful even during the down times. You know, even when we're having a problem, we can be thankful because... Um, it, it, it's just like, you know, when you talk to someone, if you um, encourage them that you help lift them up, well, we can encourage our stomach 
you know, we encourage to say, you know, I'm thankful for you. You are a blessing to me. And um, speak affirmations, you know, that, of how appreciative we are and that that I love you and that to help encourage it to work and function the way it's created to function. Yes. That's an awesome idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, it is. So I don't see any more on the chat right now, but um, we could pray for um, concerns that, that we know of that are in the world as um, you have done in the past, both of you have, for um, like people suffering with um, depression or um, loneliness, if there were any kind of issues they're having because of the, um, or even isolation because of the COVID issue. And, um, and then, you know, wh whatever things that you, that you are feeling on your heart that people may need prayers for, we could just um, say, speak prayers out um, over the ones who hear, who hear this will be encouraged and, um, and set free. Um, I would like to pray for a sister that's in um, the hospital and she has been, she had a stroke uh, actually uh, bleed on her brain and her brain was swelling and anyway they had to put a uh, she was on she's on a respirator and they've been trying to get her off and she they've had um, it's been a difficult time to do that and also the brain swelling has gone down but not completely and I would say this has been about a week and a half um, <clears throat> so I just feel like this thing needs to speed up and she needs to be healed. <laughs> yes. So well, I'll go I, ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll let you pray for her, but I want to go ahead and speak to it. What's her first name? Her name is, let me think a minute. It just went out of my brain. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know why. No, I don't know why I just like to speak the name. <laughs> it just helps me. It's more, it's more me than anything, but. Beth, Beth, Beth. Beth, Beth. Okay. Yes. I, um, as ahead. one, it, Okay, as one in Christ, I speak to breast, Beth, um, brain, and yes, and call the inflammation to go, inflammation yes. go now, <laughs> and um, everything function in Beth to um, all her vitals come into alignment. We give thanks and praise for all of her vitals that they are coming into alignment even now. Yes. We are thankful as we even speak it out. Yes. Um, yeah. Let the doctors be amazed that you are well, yes. Beth. You are well yes. and healed. Sit up and realize you're healing. Yes. You are healed. So be it. So be it. So be it. And Father God, I just um, pray that every breath, even through the respirator, is uh, circulating through her body, which is your spirit. It's your breath is her, her breath is your spirit, and your spirit is circulating throughout her entire body in every organ, and it is touching every cell in her body, and in her brain, and her brain is becoming. Um, completely normal in divine order as we speak and with every breath that she breathes. And Lord, we thank you now that her, her breathing will be the, such that she can come off of the respirator and she can breathe on her own. Because she is your child, and she loves you, and you love her, and you live and dwell inside of her. So, Lord Jesus, we thank you that your breath is what she breathes, and it will be on her own and not on a machine. We thank you, Father. We declare it, and we decree that it's so, and it is so quickly. So be, be filled with the breath of life now. Amen. Filled, filled, filled. Breathing 
your breathing function is in perfection. So be yes. it. Yes. So Thank be you, it. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, we need to pray divine healing for our great grandson Carter. Shelly Ann, would you like to do that? Sure. Carter, I declare divine healing upon you even now. Every infirmity and sickness go right now. I speak restoration to your body and full health to you. So be it. So be it. So be it. Um, Holy Sister Loretta, will you take this next one, please? Sure. Um, let me see. Pray for me. Yes, Father. Lord, we thank you. We declare who you are. And you said in your word that you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. And Father, our, our uh, sister and her family is hurting deeply and grieving at this point in time over the death of her husband and father and the father of the children and the whole rest of the family, Lord. So, Father God, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we just speak forth your comfort into their hearts and their minds that you are binding up their brokenheartedness and keep and keeping them close to you father that they would know your presence and your presence would be so um manifested in their life that they sense a peace that passes all understanding and lord that is your peace. And Lord, we just speak that forth in them and over them and over the entire family. Lord, we speak um, a, a sense of um, communication that um, is peaceful and kind and loving to one another. That it's your spirit moving back and forth through them. Lord, we thank you that you say we, gr we don't grieve as others do. And that's only because we know you. And Lord, we thank you that because of you, we know that there is eternal life and that it is not something uh, it, that will miss forever. But this is now. And we just declare now that these, the hearts of our sister and her family are being held closely to you and that they feel it and they know it and you are bringing them through this difficult time. So be it. So be it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So be it. Tracy, my heart is with you. You know it is. Okay. Let's see. Could you please pray for Asher, five years old, has itching and watering of eyes from the past two years, on and off, is recurring problem to be healed completely, supernaturally, and God to bless him with 2020 vision. He is not doing very well with online school, depending on his mom to complete homework. He has a new school admission test coming up next month. Please pray that God gives him wisdom, good memory, power to focus and learn everything he needs to for the exam and gets admitted into the same maybe school. So this is for Asher. He's five years old. Well, Sounds like Asher. he might have aller allergy yeah. maybe issues. Allergy. There. Yeah. Yeah. So we speak to Asher now. I speak to itchy and watery eyes to clear up and go now. Every allergy that is causing this, go right now. I declare that you will no longer be plagued by this, but you are set free, completely healed right now. 
I speak to your vision to be clear and 2020 vision. I speak right now, even wisdom and knowledge to your um, academical work. I speak that, that you will gain understanding and comprehend what is being taught. I declare that every exam and every assessment that you will have great success as you go forward. I speak to anxiety to leave. I speak right now that you will go forward in peace and a sound mind in your education and you will be successful and do great things says the lord i bless you Asha. yes father yes lord be blessed so be it yes so be it yes so be it. yes okay let's see please keep me in your prayers i've fallen quite ill all of a sudden bed bound hot then cold fever stomach cramps and can't keep solids or liquids inside me we don't have a name on that but um loretta can you pray yes. over that please yes of course thank you i am now just i am speaking to your body your body is um is is now at normal temperature your there is no fever stomach cramps have subsided and liquids will be able to be intaken but it be, will be able to uh, be in your stomach you can take in liquids inside yourself i speak to every part of your body and any whatever is causing this whether it be um, a bacteria a virus or a fungus or any kind of germ you die now and we just declare that through the power of holy spirit who is within me and is speaking out to you and touching your body and i declare that you are healed i'm asking you right now to get up and try and walk or do whatever it is that you can't, could not do being that you're bed bound please stand or sit on the side of the bed or however whatever you can do step forth and your healing will absolutely start so be it so be it so, so be, be it. it i was that you know what when you said that i was thinking um i was going to tell this person to put your left hand on the top of your head and then put your right hand on top of your left hand on the top of your head and say this i am healed of the lord so be it and your healing your body will realize your healing if it hasn't already amen so be it and amen. then start to get up and move and you'll see it yeah. Okay. Um, Amen. Call in blessings. Um, praying for God's peace that surpasses all human understanding come upon all of you. Thank you so much. We appreciate mm. that. Amen. Let's see. Urgent Amen. prayers needed. My daughter has gotten worse after being at the hospital. She has a completely constant cough. Her body is working so hard to fight this. This is also putting a huge strain on her vocal cord, which is concerning. Going to take her back to the ER. Mm. So it's urgent prayer need Sorry. for her daughter. Shelly. So I, I speak right now to that cough to go. Every germ that is causing that cough go now dry up in her body right now. I speak also right now to her vocal cords, right now to be healed, that there shall be no strain or no discomfort 
and no dryness to her um her throat area even her her um her passage i speak right now the expansion right now of her airway of her um her throat area so that they will be free to um free lubrication and fluids be healed and set free and you know as i'm saying this just give god a praise just praise and thank god for your healing because it has already been taking place so be it amen amen, amen. yes yes absolutely um okay please 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 i need urgent prayers for my dad john who is in intensive care fighting for his life thank you lord we speak right now to john who is lying in intensive care we declare he is healed by your stripes and you lord are entering through holy spirit all around and within his body to bring his body back into homeostasis divine order and he does not have to fight for his life because you have already fought for his life Amen. and you have already healed him so we decree and declare it and we say it is so it is so so be it so be so it it is yeah it is so agreed agreed Amen. okay please pray for my mom as she is being moved to the icu we need a miracle okay i declare that i will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. I speak yes. healing to you right now. To your entire body be restored. Be whole and be well. And I speak functionality. Everything, every area of your body that is dysfunction. Function now. Yes. Right now. So be it. So be it. So be it. Please pray for me. I'm having gastro issues. I read dedicated my life to the Lord. I need peace and a healing so bad, especially peace. I really need a mentor. Mm. We might be able to help you with a mentor, but um, <laughs> I don't see your name here. <laughs> I don't know how to contact you, but um, if you will, if you can make contact with our holy brother, Zane Pierre, he could see about getting someone to mentor you. But yeah. in the meantime, concerning your um, gastro issues, um, I speak life to your in, um, intestinal, um, complete gastro um, system. I speak peace over that. I speak um, function yeah. and um, anything that's attacking your body must go. And that you be set free from anything that is um, trying to keep you bound to sickness. The spirit of infirmity, go now. Um, I praise God that you rededicated your life to the Lord. I, uh, I praise God along with all of heaven's angels is singing and rejoicing over you. And um, I speak peace over your mind, your your peace that flows from your um, mind it will flow all through your body to cause your um, healing to manifest and stay so um i speak the peace of the lord that surpasses all understanding to guard your heart and your mind in christ jesus as you, as you live as one with him everything else must go the spirit of life filling you now and to all fullness and through your mind and through your heart, through the heart of your being, so be it. Um, Patty, so I'm going to read it. a scripture. Okay, um, please do. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. 
who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. We speak that over you tonight. So be it. So be it. So be it agreed. Okay, can you please pray for my mother? She is not well. Mm. I speak to your mom right now. I speak total healing to her body. Be well and be made whole. So be it. So be it. Thank you for praying in agreement with us, Paul, in blessing. Yes, thank you. We appreciate that very much. Okay, please pray for me. I'm in so much pain. Right now, before I even read the next pain, go now. Amen. You are trespassing. You must go now. Okay, losing everything due to illness. Spirit of infirmity, leave now. You must go. I speak restoration. The God of restoration speaks yes, restoration Father. over you. You are f- being filled to the fullness, to the overflow of um, shalom, the shalom of the Lord, which is everything that you need and nothing missing so that you um, can walk in complete wellness. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Elohim. So be it. So be it. Amen. Okay. Pray for me, please. Upper back pain and knee pain. Want to be able to sleep better. Remove sleep apnea. Amen. We speak right now to back pain and knee pain. We declare it is gone. It is no longer there. We declare it to go. We speak it and tell it to go. And we declare that sleep will be peaceful. He will have, there will be no um, sleep apnea. Breath will come in and out normally. The breath of God will allow you to sleep peacefully. And you will no longer have sleep apnea. Up Again, upper back pain and knee pain, go now. We declare... Your back and your knee to be completely restored. Total health to your bones. And we speak total and complete health to your sleep and your breathing. And so be it. So be it. it. And I and I also, um, Brian, I also speak to your uh, spinal cord. Line up now i'm i'm getting uh, the thought that you're um out of alignment and that's what's causing this pain but i um command your spinal cord in the in the um in christ i command your spinal cord to line up as it's created to be in alignment so that everything else is in place and the moves and functions and you have your being a fluid being the way you're created to be so be it. So be it. So be it. And Paul, in blessing, Father, we speak healing over John that he is healed by Jesus stripes. Amen. Jesus stripes. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes. Please yes. pray for for my whole body from head to toe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's Edna Ross. So be it. So yeah, we can, so we agree. We stand in agreement <laughs> with you, Holy Sister. <laughs> Yeah, that's easy, totally easy to say totally because <laughs> it is God's will that you be well. So it's easy for us to say, "Amen." So Amen. be it. Total healing. Okay, yeah, total from your head to the top of your head to the very soles of Soul your blessed feet. feet. You are blessed, and you're going in. You're blessed, and you're going out. You are blessed all the time. Amen. Yes, Lord. Okay. Okay, need prayers for family healings. Mom with Alzheimer's, son complications from diabetes and strokes, blind and major organs, and grandson gunshot complications, and me, lupus. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. Let me see. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, we speak to her um mom right now, Alzheimer's. We speak to you to go now. Be healed and be set free from Alzheimer's. We speak to the sun, diabetes, and stroke no longer. I speak to you right now to go from their from his body. Um line and okay. So we speak freedom right now. Be set free and be made whole to your body from every form of, um, we speak insulin. Insulin, the correct um, yeah. amount of insulin to his body right now. Right now, we speak also to your grandson uh, with gunshot wounds, complications. Be healed. <laughs> and set free every wound that was um, administered to your body right now be healed and be restored we speak to lupus right now to go no longer <coughs> we speak to every plague upon that family to leave right now i speak to your family even now I speak peace to your family. I speak healing to your entire family. I speak the breath of God. Yes. My breath shall be upon you as I breathe upon you. No longer would you be inflicted. No more afflictions upon that family. Be set free. Thank so be it. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Yes, Lord. And I declare the spirit of infirmity is gone. And the spirit, Holy Spirit of life is over the entire family. Amen. So be it. Amen. And so something I was thinking, because we, we were all kind of really overtaken by so much for for one family. It yes, is a lot. Family. But I want to say to yes. you, Pat, that yes. what is too difficult for God? Nothing. What is impossible with God? Nothing. So all of these prayers that we are praying over your family are effective. And they have power. And so I, I want you to um, to realize this, that um, it's not too much for us to speak life over your family. Yes. That your family receive the word that we are speaking and that um, your, you will see a marked difference yes. from the prayers that we are speaking forth. Amen. And um, I just want to encourage you in that. Yes, for each and every you know, one of you. Yeah, and I speak um, also Psalm 91 over you. I, yes. I say Psalm 91 over your family. And if you're not familiar, you know, um, you may want to look that up. Yes. But um, you claim that over your family, that you are under a protection, a divine protection over you and your family. Um, you have the blessings of Abraham as a children of God, and you are blessed and not cursed. So the Amen. blessings of, of from there are guaranteed to Abraham and all the promises in the word of God yes. are yours and um, receive them now. You, they, and, they are yours. And so Jesus be it. took all the curses. Mm -hmm. So he there did. are no. Amen. So be Amen. Right. You know, I, I want to leave a, a, a promise with, 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 with Pat and her family, Jeremiah. 33 and 6. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. And I will heal my peace, my, my people, and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. And, and Father is extending abundant peace and security to you. And your healing is sure. So be it. So be it. So be it. Mm. Thank you. Uh, please pray. My sister passed away the day before Thanksgiving. Father, we pray. We speak strength. I speak strength to you right now, my dear sister. Yes. I speak the peace of God upon you and your family at this time. So be it. Yes. So be Peace it. Peace and comfort as your as Holy Spirit is laying a blanket of comfort around you. He binds up your wounds. 
Yes. He holds you in his loving care. Please pray my son is a successful real estate agent. We declare success for her son. We declare um, prosperity. We declare um, life into his, um, his career as a real estate agent. And we thank you, Lord, that he will see fruit quickly in your holy, precious name. So be it. Amen. So be it. Amen. Amen. Let it happen. Amen. Okay. For my dad, deaf ears open and recover from brain surgery. Memory mm -hmm. return. Mom's hands healed and hip and leg pain. Thank you. That's from Brian. And I declare so be it. I am in total ag agreement with you. For your dad is open and be recovered from every brain injury. His memory return even now. Your mom, ha your mom hands healed right now and hip and leg pain go right yes. now. So be it. So, so be it. it. That's awesome. I agree too. I me like too. that. That's good. Yeah. Okay. For me to own my own home. We declare. Okay. We have not because we ask not. You have asked, <laughs> and the fa and father says, "So be it." You um um everything that for that we need is within us, and um God is uh, as our provider, Jehovah Jireh. Um, I says home come forth, home come forth that you will own your own home. So be it. So and be it. I um I felt to say your home is is before you. So um as as uh you declare that and you speak it out and you you've asked for it. It will be there, and it will be there in accelerated time. So be it. I agree with that. I agree Amen. with that. So be it. Amen. Please, I'm asking you all to pray for me. I need a financial breakthrough in my life urgently. I speak financial breakthrough to you right now. Every need is met. Every... I speak finances from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west to blow right now. Every door open, finances, continuous flow right now. So be it. So be it. So be it. Please pray <laughs> for me. I'm having gastro issues. I need peace and a healing so bad. Okay. Hmm. Loretta, would you like to go? Sure. Um, we decree right now that all gastrointestinal problems or issues are healed from the be from the mouth all the way down. That every part of the gastrointestinal part of your body is back in divine order. We tell all gastro issues, you have to leave. Spirit of infirmity, you have to leave. I declare and decree peace that passes all understanding rise up within you as the Lord has given us a spirit, not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love power and a sound mind and peace and love so we speak that forth and we uh, we just declare that it rises up within this precious um, siblings uh, body and heart and we declare healing throughout his body or her body 
from the top of their head or his head to the bottom of their feet. Top, inside, and outside, and all around. All spirit of infirmity go. And we declare light in your body. So be it. So be it. So be it. For my cousin Frankie, stomach cancer. Thank you. Okay. Um, that says the Lord, stomach cancer, go. You must leave Frankie and not yeah. return. You are cast out. Um, any, um, any residual, any um, problems that were caused by any treatments or um, any effects from the cancer be totally restored and made new according to the word of God by the wounds of Jesus Christ you were healed receive your healing so be it so be it, so be it. okay prayers for my son Nate's back he was born with scoliosis prayers for my son Toby he has seizures he has vac he was vaccine injured and prayers for my son Gabe he has dyslexia and can be very challenging for him Okay. I speak to um, Nate's back right now to um, to come back in full alignment. I speak to scoliosis to go right now. I pray for your son to be totally healed from every seizure um, that he has obtained from vaccine. I speak right now everything that was um foreign and introduced in your body to be reversed i speak right now to to your your immune system to rise up in strength and to fight against every every germ and every um disease that is in your body total healing to you dyslexia go right now i speak to your wow. memory that it will be fully functional i speak to your thought pattern that is it will be fully functional right now total healing to you to you right now full function to your body so be it so be it so be it yes father so be it Okay, please pray for healing and restoration in my body. It's been one thing after another. I speak to um, the spirit of infirmity to leave you now and for your body to be totally restored completely throughout from one end to the other, from one side to the other, from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right, completely restored and regenerated. And that... Um, whatever is attacking your body um, can have no effect in you anymore. You are released and set free. Um, if you will, move, move your body to the left, walk to the left, and then um, when you stop, take three steps to the left and then stop, then walk forward five steps. And realize your healing. So be it. So be it. Okay, for me and my family, I'll go ahead and speak peace over your family. Shalom of God over your household, your children and your children's children to a thousand generations. You are blessed of the Lord. So be it. Amen. So be my it. Mo my mother, I'm sorry, my mother who I wasn't in good relations with passed yesterday. So, um, I would say the um, prayer request would be for peace for this yeah. person that yeah. um, is left. So, um, would one of you like to speak peace over her? Father, show. Sure. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Well, I speak peace to your mind and to your thought pattern even now. I declare the grace of God upon you. 
I declare my spirit to be breathed upon you right now that you would have comfort and peace and a sound mind concerning your relationship with your mom. Even though she's gone, I speak peace to you and that you will hold on to everything that was good. It is the, everything that is good, the, the relationship that you all had. I mean, every relationship has its rough patches, even with your parents. There are times you will agree and disagree. But that doesn't mean that there is not love. So I speak love to you and peace. Even now, so be it. So be it. So be it. That's and beautiful. I pray, I pray that she will, uh, that you will be able to release all um, uh, feelings of hurt and pain regarding your relationship with your mother, that you can release it and let it go. And know that you are loved, deeply, deeply loved. And that um, your, your heart, in, as the Bible says, and as we said earlier, that he heals the brokenhearted. And he is in the process, even now, of healing your heart. So be it. So be, so it. be it. You know, as as my sister was speaking that um, over you, I heard condemnation. Yeah. I remove condemnation right now from your thoughts. Mm. Right now, yes. let it go. Yes. Every form of condemnation coming to you by thought, I remove it right now. So be it. Amen. Amen. So be it. We declare only good thoughts. Uh, yeah. uh, times of that were good and peaceful between you and your mother. So be it. So be it. So be it. Okay, please pray for me and my family that we get help with rent. I release right now finances yeah. to you. I release divine favor from your landlord and I release right now that every need is met yes. so Thank be it yes yeah, so be it so be it yep. um, favor in my workplace we declare that you have favor in your workplace as you walk into work the spirit of the Lord goes before you and he's in you, and he will provide that favor with your people, with all your work, um, your co-workers, and for your um, employer. So be it. So be it. So be it. Pray for my husband, Billy. He has cardiovascular disease, which causes hardening of the arteries. Um, I speak life and health to Billy's heart, to his cardiovascular system, and that his arteries be f open and free-flowing with the blood of life, yeah. the, um, the blood of Jesus flowing through his body, causing healing and life and wellness to flow through him, that um, he has no effects from cardiovascular disease that his blood pressure that his um all his numbers are in alignment with health and wellness be made whole and well billy totally well so be it so be it let's see pray for my son and aging mom we declare wholeness and health and healing and peace to your son and your aging mother. All, all um, 
illness or spirit of infirmity, you have to go. We declare life into both your son and your mother. So be it. So be it. So be it. See, praying for healing for my daughter and peace in my house. I speak healing and wholeness to your daughter right now. Total healing from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. I speak peace in the home. I declare every every pillar of your home. I speak peace to, it, to the very foundations of your home. I speak peace to it right now. So be it. So, so be it. it. Um. I say, please pray God put Christian leaders into office that lead America to God. Amen. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, we agree. We totally agree with that. We, we, we have spoken over this. We have spoken and, um, We stand in agreement with your prayer and say, so be it. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. My son needs prayer. He has court tomorrow and my finances. Father, we pray for favor with everyone in the court, the judge and those who are um, involved with the justice system. We pray favor for your son. And we declare and we call in finances for you, all that you need, everything that um, every blessing you need. The Lord provides all that is needed. And he, we declare that for you. So be it. Amen. So be it. Please pray God send me human companion. You know, mm -hmm. I understand that um, during this time when um, so much isolation going on that um, it is, it is um, difficult not being around people like we are used to. <laughs> so um, I can relate. I can so relate to that. And um, um, I, I say that doors be made open, that you have make contacts with people that you can have interaction with other people who um, look out for your good and you look out for their good and that you um, grow healthy relationships that um, mm -hmm. even if they're no matter how many they are, but the, it, the matter is that they are quality and um, sound relationships. I speak that into your life um, from the spirit of life. So be it. Yes. So be it. See, my grandbaby's dad overdosed today and was brought back. Prayers for his addiction to be gone. I break that addiction over his life right now. No longer that he will um, have a desire for whatever substance, whatever, uh, whatever is holding him. I break it over his life and I declare, be set free from every form of addiction. Be self-existent yes. right now. So be it. So be it. So be it. And that his body, his body be completely restored from this overdose. Mm -hmm. that, that, um, that he's totally recovered that um, he has no effect from it. He knows that God has healed him and it's changing his life. But speak that into him. Yes. For the, for the grandbaby's sake too. But yes, we speak life into him. Yes, okay, Lord. I'm in a devastating financial situation. Pray I'll reach all deadlines. Amen. Okay, we come into agreement with you yes. that um, all deadlines will be met that um, resources will become available to you, that um, doors will be open to um, situations where you will be able to pay all your bills and not have to pay a late fee. So be it. 
So be so it. Be it. My little granddaughter of two was exposed to Corona. Please pray she and my daughter and my son will not be affected. We declare that Corona cannot touch your granddaughter, your daughter or son. We declare that it has already been held back and that should any of it have touched them, it dies. That their bodies are Im, Im, um, impenetrable to coronavirus. So be it. So be it. So be it. And I speak death to coronavirus. Yes. So be yeah. it. <laughs> so be it. Just, yes, be gone. Okay. I've got an allergic reaction. Please pray. I speak right now to allergies. So go right now, and I speak that you are set free from every allergic reaction right now. No more would you be have a reaction to whatever it is, but your body is completely healed. So be it. So be it. So be it. So be it. Um, to the person who wrote this request about allergic reaction um clap your hands three times and then put your hands on your hips and then stretch your arms out to the side and say i am free hallelujah amen okay that Okay, that my son Landon returns home to me in time for Christmas 2021. Preferred before, he was unlawfully taken from me by New York State. So many know the truth and are fighting with me to get him back. I need the right one that the courts will respect to win this case and end it now. So um, she's. I uh, assume it's a she is um, requesting prayer that the her son Landon that she re resumes custody is what it sounds like. So, do one of you want to um, speak over this? Sure. Um, we speak right now, but we declare that you will be reunited with your son. I speak favor with the courts even now. Everything that was untrue be exposed. And I declare um, I declare even now that um, this case will be uh, met with integrity and justice in the benefit of all those that are involved. So be it. So be it. I so be totally it. agree with this. <clears throat> okay. Please pray doctor finds what is wrong and stops the pain. Nothing is helping. So I speak to the pain and I tell it to go now. Um, Regardless of what the doctors say, the pain must go. Any inflammation, leave. Um, body, be well. Be well. Standing in King Jesus, I speak this over you. So yes. be it. So be it. So Holy be Spirit. It. I need prayer. I was just going to add to the other. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead Holy and help yourself. Spirit, we just speak your um and a state at ascetic over all areas of pain in this body. And it will completely ease all pain. So be it. So be it. So be it. I, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need prayer, financial. Kicking my butt. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, my answers can be a pain, my can't they? <laughs> no longer kick, kick your butt. Your and butt. I declare finances be free. right now. Amen. Be set free. Yes. We just the floodgates of the hope heaven be open. Yes. The floodgates open now, being released to you even now. Yes. Amen. Need to be met. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, please, I'm asking you to pray for me. I need a financial breakthrough in my life urgently. I'm going through a rough time right now. I need the matter in court to be settled and over with. Each month, I have to bring money to court. I can't take it anymore. I'm working, and I don't have enough money to save because of the court case and the loans that I have outstanding. I'm a mess right now. I need a car. I can't even buy it, and that's why I'm asking you to pray for me so that I can. Okay. We have a couple of more to see. Financial. Finances. Yeah. Finances are a problem sometimes, aren't they, y'all? Um, all right. Go ahead. Let's speak on these financial yeah. issues. I just declare that open heaven over each and every one of these people. I declare that money, finances will just come in in miraculous ways that they will see money everywhere they go that they will see ways to receive more money everywhere they go they will have opportunities everywhere they go we decree and declare that so be it so, so be, be it. it and this and this um request also um, really, the root look, seems to be this court needs court settlement needs to get yes. over with. So, um, we speak to um, just resolution um, that justice be served and that it be dealt with and be over with and be over with quickly. It is a matter of integrity. So be it. So be it. So be it. So be it. And I just want to so ask you find out. Uh, to the yes. financial that I declare mm -hmm. wealth and riches are in your house and everything that you put your hands to do will prosper. I declare even now as opportunities come forth that you will make the right decisions to um to move forward that you would no lo that you would not um Stand, but you would go forth and make sound decisions that all things will work together for your good. So even as um, financial opportunities open to you all, um, just step out. All things work together for your good. So I declare it even now that uh, the floodgates of heaven um, shall blow upon you all and blessings upon each and every one of you. So be it. So be it. So be it. That includes you, um, Dillian and Brian. Yeah. It covers you and that um, healing. If, if you have um, anyone at your workplace, Brian, is sick, that they um, be healed. They are healed. I speak life and healing over them. Yes, Okay. Father. Prayers that I can get all four grandsons from the state of Colorado. Um, we speak a just resolution that yeah. what is in the best interest of these children, that it be done, yeah. that, um, that they be um, able to receive the nurturing and the, um, the love of their family um, and, and that the courts see fit, that, they, uh, that there's favor in the courts. So that um, these children are in a God-fearing home, that um, that they will be raised in um, in a way of integrity. So be it. So, so be, be it. it. Okay, complete healing from fever and cough. I declare. I speak. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I declare. Yeah, we're in agreement, right? <laughs> yes, we are. Amen. <laughs> yeah, we are. We yeah. Complete healing and uh, uh, complete healing in your body from fever and cough. 
fever and cough, go now. And your body is now restored and we speak life to your body. So be it. So be it. So be it. Um, I need healing on my toes. Um, I speak um, healing on your toes. Toes be healed. Move your toes and see if you don't feel that. Yes. The power of God is in your toes right now. The power of the Holy Spirit is filling your toes right now. Move your toes. Amen. We look forward to hearing your testimonies. Yes. We are thankful that we were able to pray for you all tonight. It's been quite the blessing. And mm-hmm. um, what would you like to say, Miss Loretta? <laughs> I was just going <laughs> to like short, I was just gonna read this short little um, uh, verse. It's Jeremiah 33, 6, and it says, I will bring health and healing to you, and I will heal my people and will let, my, let them enjoy abundant peace and security. And I feel like that's for everyone that we have prayed for because we pray for much um, healing and peace. And I feel like security means financial security. So be it. So be it. So be it. So be it. Okay. And then um, Brian um, is asking for prayer for his mother-in-law. Mm-hmm. Speak spine to be healed and I guess knees. Knees. And, and, her, knees. and her feet. And her feet. So um, we stand in agreement with you, Brian. That her spine is healed and her knees and her feet be healed. So be it. So be it. Life, life, life throughout her body. The fullness of the spirit flowing through her. Her knees, yes. Her knees, um, everything working, functioning the way it's designed by our creator God. So be it. So be it. Okay. Well, it's the inflammation yes, to what leave. A, Amen. Yeah. yeah, must go. So be, it. so be it. Well, we thank you all for joining us tonight. And um, we encourage you to um, come back next Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, where we will have a word of encouragement and um, prayer time again. So if you know anyone that would that needs prayer, encourage them to come along too. So um, we speak um, love from the Father to everyone within the sound of my voice. Yes. Much love and abundant peace be yours. And know that um, you and Christ are one. Respect yourself. Love yourself so that you can more fully love others and thereby loving God. So we um, are thankful and we say good night. Good night. Good night.